Welcome to Gas Up the Pacer. I'm Armando. That's Lou. And today we're giving y'all a gift. We haven't really done this in the past. We've talked about fantasy football. <laughs> We've talked about, uh, you know, what players to draft, what strategies, don't be that guy. We've talked about all those things. But today we're actually going yep. over and, and doing a first round fantasy draft we set it up as a it's a 12 team league and what the draft would look like in the first round mind you this is non ppr so we're just going to kind of go back and forth where we'll start with the first pick work to the 12th and uh we'll make our picks and you guys can comment below and mock our picks because i'm sure we'll mock each other's picks um and then if you wanted to reach out to us on Twitter, you can reach out to me at Junior D's. You can reach out to Lou at Sweet Lou 3434. And mm. I got I got mm. it right. Yeah, let's, you did. I'll tell you what, before we even start this thing, <laughs> I want to let you know that I don't have to mock your picks. You can't possibly mess up every other pick going 12. <laughs> you can't even do that. And speaking of which, Corey and I were talking this morning as we saw. And we really didn't appreciate your attitude and your language speaking back to us regarding fantasy football. So we kind of feel like apology. Um, we feel like an apology is due. Are you willing to give that apology? I I don't apologize for anything that I say ever. And uh, because I am my own man. And if that hurts your feelings, that's on you. That's on your feelings. That's not on me and how you took it. So that's one. And two, I don't appreciate people saying that they don't they're not worried about me in the in the next fantasy football season because I'm basically in my own head and I'll screw the whole pooch on my own. So we'll just That, that uh, is what was said. We we even we even said we could play against play seven players against you. Against your nine and beat you. <laughs> and and you for some reason you felt offended by that. And I don't we don't understand. Yeah, and I don't understand why you guys are offended. So hey, Tom. Why is this guy offended? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's uh, let's do this first round. We'll go. I'll let you. I'll even give you the first pick in the first round. Who do you take if you have the first overall pick? The defending champion is why I get the first pick, and I would take Lamar Jackson. I like that pick, and the reason I like Lamar Jackson, even with the first pick, is you're gonna get points with him running the ball throwing the ball multiple touchdowns uh doing either um yep he's yeah i i like that pick as as the first overall pick with the second pick i would take <laughs> christian mccaffrey you know well you already know how i feel about mccaffrey uh yep. best back in the league you can't go wrong with it he's catching Absolutely. the ball especially with bridgewater where cam took all those two and three and one yard touchdown runs away from mccaffrey bridgewater's giving them to him so that's yep. a great pick the third pick in the in the draft would be Mahomes at this point. Since he's a playmaker, I don't think and he and he I could be and if he does this, he'll be one of the very few to do it. Got his money and shut it down. I can't see him doing that. Yeah. Because he's still hungry. He has one ring. He wants to be going, he wants to go down as the greatest ever to play the quarterback position. He's got a long, long way to go to catch Ben Roethlisberger's stats or Eli Manny's. They got two rings. You got you to catch them before you even start talking about Peyton Manning, who has two, and God, he can't even talk about Brady yet or Montana. So, but I think he's going to remain hungry. I think he's going to be a young kid who remains hungry and, and still going to put up big numbers because they're just still loading up the weapons around him. If I have the fourth pick and these three players are gone, I'm going with Saquon Barkley. Saquon Barkley. I can't argue with that pick because I had him as my fifth overall pick. Yeah. Me, Saquon. I have um so that being said, I would take Zeke Elliott at five. Yeah. So both of them are gonna touch the ball eight of times. So you're gonna get points. They both have home run ability. If they get free, they're gone. No one's catching them. Unless it's you know, unless they've been pounding the rock 30 times. But they're gonna catch a ton of balls, especially if you're in the PPR league. These might be your two first picks, your first two picks if this is PPR, but we're not. Yeah. But that said. I think these are clearly the second and third backs off the board. And I think McCaffrey's an unquestioned number one pick off the board from the running back spot. Yep. 
And I know everybody thinks that I have this like hatred for Saquon Barkley because of everything that happened last year. <laughs> but that's not true. I love Saquon. I just think the Giants are going to be a better team this year. They have that's potential to be I... because Daniel Jones can be pretty good. He can wind up. I think he's going to be good. Yep. So for the number six pick, I'm gonna I'm gonna break away at number six, and I'm gonna go Michael Thomas. Okay. See, this is this is crazy because I have Michael Thomas at seven overall on my list. <laughs> Do you it's, have? I mean, I can show you the list. It's, it's just it's dumb luck. Yeah. If we'd have picked opposite, we'd have our picks in order. Yeah. But. I love the pick. I mean, when your when your Twitter handle and I said it before, when your Twitter handle can guard Mike, fucking you better be good. Yeah, he's proven to be very, very good. I think he's the best receiver in the NFL. Um, people will argue with me because he's not flashy. People like yeah. flash. You know what I mean? They they like all that drama. Yeah. Now all this dude do is show up and go to work. Can nobody guard him? Ask his Twitter handle. They yeah. cannot guard him. That's a great pick. Um, at number six, however, I had Alvin Kamara, who yep. people think I hate after the way he did me last year. And I think Sean Payton will go back and look, man, we basically wasted him last year. We got rid of Ingram to feature him, but yet we didn't give him the ball. Yep. We kept sticking Tyson Hill or Tayson Hill, a backup quarterback, and giving him the damn ball. So I think he's going to have a big bounce back year. So I like both of those picks. Yep, and you're right, because I had Alvin Kamara at seven. And Michael Thomas at six. So we just had those flip flops. Yeah, we just had them flipped. And at the number eight pick, I would take DeAndre Hopkins. I like DeAndre Hopkins. You know, I'm high on the Cardinals this year. I think, you know, yeah. even though they might not make the playoffs, I their offensive output is going to be awesome this year. If they don't make the playoffs, it is going to be close. If, if they don't yeah. make it, I think it's going to be close. You, yeah. I mean, you're going to have to score some points to be these dudes. There's just no getting around it. I obviously have Hopkins on my list. If I got the 10th pick in our league, I'm going Hopkins and they're coming back with Kyler Murray. And I'm just doubling up right out the gate. All right, for my 8th pick though, I got Derrick Henry. Because we all know he's not going to do much in the first 2 or 3 weeks. But after that, when Tennessee needs him, he's going to be constantly 2 or 3 touchdowns and he's going to be right at that 100 yard marker and he's not going to fumble the football. So he's not going to cost you any points. And he's just steady Eddie. And he's got the right coach who is not going to bat in the run. So I, I love him at eight. Yep. And then, uh, yeah, so that was that was number nine. That was the ninth pick right there. And then at ten, I'm taking Dalvin Cook. See, I have Dalvin Cook right there with Austin Eckler and Josh Jacobs. I don't know who I would take, but I'll be happy to take any of the three. Yep. But I would have to lean towards Austin Eckler because they're going to throw him the ball. And I can't count on Kirk Cousins to, to do the damn, to do the right thing. But man, I don't, man, I got a rookie in San Diego now, though. So how effective will Austin Eckler be? Yeah. So you got to, you got to look at all that stuff. I'm telling you right now, I am big on Josh Jacobs. I like Josh Jacobs a mm -hmm. lot. Um, and I think I think he's going to have another good year. That's another guy like Michael Thomas, who he's not flashy. He's not going to come out and do all this stuff. He puts his head down. He goes to work, and and you're just going to get a solid back. So I you like just get a good. Thank you get a football player. Yep. So you got the eleventh pick. I'm going Mike Evans. I had Mike. I had Mike Evans at eleven, so that that works out. And again, it's Tom Brady, and that's the that's the main reason. And then to finish out the first round of a twelve team league, I'm looking at Tyreek Hill. Tyreek, I love Tyreek Hill, especially or or Kelsey. If you have Mahomes, if you get Kelsey or Hill, it is an it's a great pick. And if you're, I'll be honest, if you're at the end of the first round and you do the snake draft whether it's a 10-man league or a 12-man league. The other thing that I would look at, too, especially if you get somebody like you know Tyreek Hill, whatever, the at the end of that first round, going into the second round, at the beginning of the second round, that Clyde Edwards-Hilaire, uh, because um, yeah. Williams, Williams isn't in Kansas City, 
I know he's a rookie, but he's going to get a ton of carries this season. So, well, yeah, because they don't want my home running the ball. Yeah, exactly. So that's another guy. If you have, if you want to get two solid running backs, like, and be set at running back at the end of the first round, beginning of the second, you take Josh Jacobs and Clyde Edwards Hilaire. You're good. You're set at running back for the season. So, but that's but that's they're a- going to start commenting on the show, which is fine. That's what we want. Yep. But where do you take guys before we wrap this up? They're going to say, they're dumb. They didn't take OBJ. They didn't take Baker Mayfield. Where do you take guys like that? Because there's a guy, you know, if, if, if I'm at the back of our draft and I don't go Murray and Hopkins, I go Josh Jacobs and Joe Mixon and beat a whole bunch of people yeah. with not flashy guys, not teams I even want to watch play. But I'm going to kick your ass with two running backs. And they're going to be steady at these all year long. Well, that's that's kind of, I'll be honest, that's the kind of team that I'm looking to put together this year. Every year, you know, you look at, like, if you looked at my roster, my roster last year, dude, there was names all up and down that thing, and I missed the playoffs. I'm over-drafting big-name guys. I'm over-drafting OBJs and Antonio Browns and this, that, and the other. There, that's, yeah. the, that's the flash and dash. But can that get you into the playoffs? That's all that matters. I would rather draft a Josh Jacobs yeah. and a Michael Thomas and a Joe Mixon and guys like that that aren't going to be that flash and dash. But you know what they do? They get you fucking points. Yep, that's it. You know, and just My have that. running backs at one point last year were Derrick Henry and Austin Eckler. Yep. Who the who who would have known? And you had OBJ and Antonio Brown out of the draft. Yep. And look how it went. I mean, how how was you supposed to know Baker wouldn't throw OBJ the ball and Antonio Brown was gonna cut a further food than what he was already cutting? Exactly. Because you, you just don't know. You just yep. don't know. Yep. So yeah, I, that's if if I have any advice, draft those guys. Mike Evans is another one. He's just a solid player. He's just gonna be there. He just he just shows up to work. Draft those guys. I'm over. And that running man. back from Buffalo, I'm telling you, this is as deep. This draft is a solid. Remember how it's like, man, I gotta get a running back in the first round, or I'm not gonna get one. Yeah. And I need more. Man, you can go quiet as kept into the third round and get your running backs or receivers because there's guys that good. And with everybody playing this platoon system, I mean the kid out of Seattle is gonna be good. Yep. So the I mean, you just got to get them Rashad Penny and them guys. Those, those guys are going to be good. They're going to get their touches. We didn't even factor Russell Wilson into this thing. Yep. And we went through the first 12 picks. So, I mean, there's so this draft, I can't wait. I might score 200 points a week on you, mother. Well, I tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. It's like shooting fish in a barrel at this point in time. I, I, I can't wait, dude. I cannot wait to shut your mouth this season. It's going to be so fun. You're right again. I was talking to Corey earlier, and we were talking about how deep this, this draft is. And, like, at the quarterback position, you have Mahomes, Jackson, and then there's a gap where you don't really have to draft a quarterback, but there's a lot of quarterbacks out there. There's a group of them right in the middle. There's a group of running backs yeah. that are good. There's a group of wide receivers. Like I think this has been the deepest fantasy football draft that I've seen in a while. In a in a while, in a yeah. while, because you get those two quarterbacks out the way, you're still coming back with Russell Wilson, Breeze, Brady, Big Ben. Man, that's seven QBs right there. There's only ten teams in the league. Kyler Murray, who I said I'd take in the first round, and I forgot to name him right there. That Just that quick. There's, Josh Allen's going to put up big numbers because it was his ability to run the ball. And yeah. they got him um, uh, Stephon Diggs, too. It, man, it, I, I tell you what, it's going to be some high-scoring games. And if you um, – you you really can't go – it's, it's going to be luck in the draw on who you play. Yeah. Because everybody's going to be putting up 120 points a week where – Normally, everybody's putting up between 90 and 105, even for guys who don't know shit about football like Zig and Corey. You know, they'll even put up points. I agree. <laughs> I agree. 
I agree. I just I think it's going to be a good fantasy football season, provided the season actually gets played. You're not going to hate man. Yes. For Lou, I'm Armando. <laughs> this is Gas Up the Pacer. We'll see you guys next week.